Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood. I want to talk about the most important thing to any drainage system, and that's the discharge. The problem is, with vegetation, like our grass, that's usually what does a system in. I see so many flooded yards over the discharge. So let's talk about all the different ways of discharging your roof runoff system, maybe your sump pump to daylight, you know, whatever your drainage situation is, if you're taking it to a, a grassy swale, a grassy ditch, you really have to watch how you go about daylighting. So let's talk about all the different things, what we're doing, what we've done, you know, where we're at right now. So, you know, years ago, I really just kind of gave up on the pop-up because the grass grew over it so quick, and that was it. As soon as the grass would grow over a pop-up, it was done. Your system couldn't work. Basements would flood, crawl spaces would flood, it was a disaster over what because grass and vegetation just grew over the discharge end so we went to just putting in speedy basins now we got a lot of complaints about the smell these stay full of water in a clay environment they hold a lot of water that's the beauty about the pop-up emitter it don't hold very much water you can drill a few holes you know, we always do. We drill a few holes when we put them in. And that way they can just leach. That little bit of water that's in a pop-up emitter, that'll actually leach. So that works out really nice. So we'd get complaints about these speedy basins because earthworms would also find their way into this. I, I don't know why, but they just go inside these. They drowned, and then it smells horrible. It just smells awful. And... This wasn't enough. The grass would grow over this as well. I mean, we even went to, you know, a 9x9 nine nine and even 12x12s, 12 you know, so that big systems that really, really depended, you know, we just couldn't afford a flooded basement, a flooded, you know, garage, whatever it may be. We would go to a 9x9, nine nine, we'd go to, you know, 12x12s. 12 12. Now, the grass would have to work extra hard to try to grow over this so we succeeded it was always available during a rain the discharge always worked that's key the problem is this holds even more water in a clay application now we know clay will perk because it'll turn from concrete to mud problem is it's not really going to take in a lot of water like a big pail of water and that's what you end up with when you have one of these bigger basins. Now, again, this solved one of our problems. This solved our biggest problem, and that's the grass growing over a discharge end. So our systems were always available. Come a big storm, they were on call, they were ready, they were waiting, they took care of business. But what do you do about the Petri dish that's breeding mosquitoes, creating odors in the backyard, unwanted odors in the backyard, and here in the north... This could freeze up. You got a big block of ice right at the end of your discharge. So it always took us right back to the pop-up emitter. So I'm gonna tell you what we're doing now, what we think works the best. And this is in collaboration with all our subscribers and their comments. I mean, together we get places a lot faster. It's been, it's been an incredible, it's been an incredible asset having you guys in our comment section. So we like these low profile 90s. Now, if you need some more height for whatever reason, then just go with a regu regular 90. But these low profile 90s, they don't hold very much water. The problem is we gotta take care of this so the grass don't grow over it. So what do you do? Well, that's where you know we put a turf restrictor plate so we build a pretty nice pop-up. We've been shipping these all over the United States all year long. We've, you know, obviously we've gotten tons of feedback. You know, we've made a lot of changes, a lot of modifications, and we just really, really have dialed this thing in. So a lot of people ask, why do you use, you know, the fitting that's not barbed? And, you know, that's simply because, you know, it clicks into the pipe, no problem. And then you can 
take it apart in the event that branches and leaves and things during low volume rains collect in that 90, super easy just to take that off, dump it out. Branches are probably the biggest thing because if you live where there's a lot of big trees, it's gonna drop limbs on the roof of your house. And even though you might drag those branches off, there's a lot of broken pieces of bark and wood that fall in the gutter. They find their way into your drainage system. So, you know, it's just something that we've learned over, you know, the course of 35 years of doing this, that that's something that has to be addressed. So you really want that to be something you can access and service. So again, we're taking care of both our problems. You know, we're shipping low profile right now. This is standard. We shipped a low profile 90 with the turf restrictor plate, the full assembly. Just you pop it on, you're done. Now, we're the only ones doing the 45s. If you want a 45 with the turf restrictor plate, you just have to call the office and we make them up for you uh, as needed. So you can see that to minimize the amount of water you're leaving in your discharge line compared to the 90s, see, so you're asking the water to come up. So if you have the slope, you know, if you're taking this to a ditch bank, if you're taking this, you know, to an area that actually breaks and you have good fall, good slope, you can see the difference. You know, and if you don't have it, well, there's nothing wrong with this 90. This low profile 90 doesn't hold but a couple cups of water. You drill some holes in the bottom, even in clay, that's going to leach out over time. If you put a piece of, you know, knife cut pipe, you know, 15 feet of it at the end of your downspout with some stone and filter fabric, like we show you, now you really got something. This will never hold water. It'll always dry up for you. And in the north, you won't have to worry about freeze up. And in the south, you won't have to worry about a Petri dish. You know, the pop-up is the safest and most healthiest for your family. The only problem was it used to have the most liability until we went to the turf restrictor plates. So I'm going to take you in the field. I want to show you applications of use. I want to show you how it's been working for us and, and catch you guys up on all that. It helps all of us to see the use in the real world. So that's a gutter downspout with one of our clean outs with the grate. And then we ran this quite a distance away. We like to be safe, run at a safe distance away. This is the perfect example how the turf restrictor plate works. So normally a pop-up, the grass just grows right over it very quickly, and then you're done. Then the pop-up is no longer going to let water emit, and you're in trouble. You're going to have the water cascade over the gutter trough right along the foundation of your building. You can see that the turf restrictor plate, it won't let grass grow over the pop-up emitter. But you can see that the grass is really growing over the turf restrictor plate. This gives the homeowner time to weed whip, deal with it. When life happens and you don't have time to be watching grass grow, because literally that's what you'd have to do with a small standard pop-up emitter, that's where the turf restrictor plate comes in. Okay, so I had one of our customers that we did an install for call me, and we went through this, and he was so kind to let me video him for his very first time experiencing what it's like to pick up a pop-up with a turf restrictor plate, and literally just, it snaps right off the corrugated pipe super easy. He has big, giant trees. He lives in a forest. You can see that we got the leech pipe, with the fabric and the stone in there. And this just snaps right back in. He'll push it right back in, check it out. This is his first time. Beautiful. So there you go. Nice. It's just that easy. I wanted to go over an engineering bulletin that I have. The reason why our fabric works so well is because it's double punched. And the longer you have your system in, the better the soil filter zone that's formed becomes.